Hello there. Again, welcome to in Blackboard English Grammar and Vocabulary IELTS TOEFL and GRE preparation lessons. Today we are going to discuss about the TOEFL IBT practice test. Also, our one tips that help us to secure a good score in our TOEFL IBT reading sections. You. Everybody will be agreed upon that uh, TOEFL library reading section is a very difficult section for many of the test takers. For these reasons, there are many strategies and suggestions from the expert that will help to secure higher scores. But from my experience and from my many years of studies, I found that most of the strategies and tips are not effective in the practical aspects of the of during the taking test. So from my experiences and from my practices I have found that only one tip that can be helpful in effective reading sections so I am going to discuss about these sections with one uh, practice uh, test now let's start with these questions it's an old format of the TOEFL there are 13 to 14 questions but in the new format you all of them know that this um, 10 questions are appeared in the exam. So what is the tips? The tips is uh, do not read the passage first. Read the questions first and then answer the and then read the passage. And do not read uh, scheme, scanning, these type of is necess not, not necessary for answering or good coding in the TOEFL. So my tips which I applied in answering the reading questions may be helpful to you also. So the tip is read the question first. Okay. These are desert formations. The passage is about we should read desert formations. Okay. We can uh, for a few seconds, we can uh, predict or uh, uh, think about that what will be the passage about desert formations. Okay, you think about it. just after reading the title or heading, you will just think about in the passage what will be desert formations, how the desert is formed and what factor are affecting the deserts. I am not reading these passages. I am just um, rolling out, <coughs> thinking, thinking about in my mind that what will be the desert formations and what will be the topics that. And uh, it's a will in only in few seconds when I just read the head in your headline. We should not uh, spend our time for many we are thinking of, our, of many things or many ideas. Here is the word, just uh, uh, according to our uh, team, we are going to the questions first. Though most of the time, uh, these are the word threatened. Uh, in the passage is closest meaning to. We should not spend many times or much time on answering the vocabulary questions. And vocabulary question is a blessing for us uh, to on the on the TOEFL because it uh, saves our time if we have already prepared for vocabulary and we are somewhat uh, uh, somewhat expertise in vocabulary word word vocabulary knowledge or some you know, what it is 
not necessarily to learn uh, thousands of words it is not necessarily there are some vocabulary word will be appeared in the top of the so what will be this answered the word thread in in the passage is closest meaning to endangered thread in means uh, restricted endangered prevented and rejected so in the in the first uh, glance we can we can decide or determine the answer is maybe endangered so we can check out if it is right or wrong it has been estimated that an additional one fourth of the earth's land surface is threatened by this process okay threatened by this process that means uh, deteriorated or negative someone prevented rejected also negative restricted the neutral word so and then that there may be so we are going to next questions according to paragraph 3 it's an factual information questions by seeing these phrases we can identify that it's an factual information question the loss of natural vegetation has which of the following consequences for soil okay the key word or key phrase is in this question is loss of natural vegetation hmm. which of the following consequences for soil soil and natural vegetation so you can find this even in the areas that retain a soil cover the reduction of vegetation typically results in the loss of the soil's ability to absorb substantial quantities of water okay the impact of rain drops on the loss low soil tends to transfer fine clay particles into tiniest soil spaces sealing them and producing a surface that allows very little water penetrations water absorption is greatly reduced consequently rain off is increased resulting in an accelerated erosion rates the gradual drying of the soil caused by its diminished ability to absorb water results in the further loss of vegetation so the cycle of progressive surface deterioration deterioration is established so what will be the factors we have read all the paragraph but in the factual information questions uh, Mm, yeah. loss of natural vegetation has which of the following consequences of soil okay these are the key factor or key phrases natural vegetation has loss of natural vegetation and consequences of soil okay so we should we do not find here yeah, we do not necessarily important role of the sentences for answering the factual information questions for factual information questions we can find in a sentence or two in the our answer so here is the consequences of soil for loss of natural vegetation so the gradual drying of soil visual drying of soil ability to absorb results further loss of vegetation so the cycle of progressing deterioration is basically increased stony content these may not be here 
implied or explicitly stated. So, the gradual drying of the soil, the reduced water absorptions, these may be okay. Increased number of species in the soil, these also may be reduced water runoff, these may be, but. Um, <coughs> The impact of raindrops and the loss of soil and transfer of fine clay particles, fine clay particles into, into thinnest soil species, sealing them producing a surface that has little water penetrations, reduce water absorption. So reduction of basic results, loss of soils, ability to absorb substantial quantities of water. So water will be, these may be not, they are also be ancient, but explicitly stated here is the reduction of vegetation typically, loss of natural vegetation is results in the loss of soil's ability to, consequences of soil's ability to absorb substantial quantities of water. Okay, this will be the answer choice. Is it okay? So now we are, if we are correct or not, so the answer questions B. Okay, what is reduce water absorptions? It's the correct answer choices. And increased tonic content it is not stated in this year. Even in the areas of retain of soil cover. The reduction of vegetation typically result in the loss of soil's ability to absorb substantial quantities of water. The impact here also, these are the, if we read the paragraph, okay, we should diagnose the paragraph in our, uh, as we are practicing, so we should diagnose the paragraph also whole paragraph okay that is in. even in the areas that maintain a soil cover okay it in a soil cover the reduction of vegetation typically results in the loss of soil's ability to absorb the substantial quantities of water okay we have already got these answer our answers but we are uh, uh, diagnosing um, these sentences also. What happened? For what uh, reasons we are eliminating these questions, these lines also. Okay. The impact of brain drops on the large soils. Okay. It's this uh, loss of soils ability to water. These are the topic sentence okay this first sentence is topic sentence if we uh, uh, think about the organizations of the paragraph or development of the of this paragraph after this uh, topic sentence there may be some specific details about this substantial uh, soil inability to water absorptions. Okay. The impact of raindrops on the large soil, okay, loss of soil ability to uh, large soils tends to transfer fine clay particles into the tiniest soil spaces, sealing them producing a surface that allows very little water penetrations. Okay. In this sentence, it is the details or specific illustrations of these points, these topics, okay, process. And in our factual information questions or detailed questions, they are not will be uh, 
coming from the specific details most of the questions will be from will from the um, important details in the if we in that if we consider this sentence it is the specific trivial details of these substantial um, what in the impact of this okay water absorption is greatly reduced here is also mentions water absorptions the topical sentences or topic sentences water absorption is greatly reduced consequently rare run of okay here is an term reduced water runoff okay so here is consequent runoff is water runoff is in case it's opposite of these sentences water absorptions also again in topping sentence water absorption or it is consequently runoff is reduced water absorption reduced and water runoff is increased resulting in accelerated erosion rates so soil erosions also increases okay the gradual rising this will the gradual drying of the soil is well as it is what will be as it is uh, running of as it, it does not uh, absorb the quantity uh, sufficient amounts of water the soil ultimately will be dried off so the gradual drying of the soil caused by diminish ability to absorb water also these keywords again is repeated by defining this diminished absorb water result in the further loss of vegetation so further loss so that the cycle of progressive surface deterioration is established so this sentence is the repetition of sentence 1 or topic sentence so if we just the organization or development of the paragraph there is a first one is the topic sentence the second one is our uh, general concluding sentence which was uh, somewhat uh, similar to the repetitions of the topic sentence or first sentences and these two and these uh, one sentence or oh sorry two sentence this one and these uh, two sentence are supporting illustrations of these topic sentences and these topic sentences are main points of these topic sentences are is what loss of vegetations due to and uh, inability to absorption of water okay and these two sentences also discuss in details um, around these uh, topics or main points phrases okay so an increased number of spaces in the soil so no no this is also contradicts what is well soil tends to transform frankly partitions into tiniest soil spaces soil spaces okay sealing them reducing surface of little water so increasing soil spaces is not for na uh, inability to absorption of substantial quantity of quantities of water or ability to absorb loss of soil ability to absorb uh, of water it is also 
opposite of these ideas okay so now we have also already uh, now find out what it is okay question 2 okay <coughs> Now, next, what will be our approach? Our approach will be read that we are not going to read any passages or further passages. We will we will go to the next question first. The word delicate in the passage is closest meaning to delicate means uh, I do not know it's exactly what will be. Mm, it's a verb can delicate mean maybe it's a type of fragile or something like this okay delicate means uh, predictable complex valuable so we are uh, as i did not do not um, not confirm about these words i can uh, so the semi-arid lands bordering the deserts exist in a delicate ecological balance and are limited in their potential to adjust to the increased environmental pressures okay the semi-lands bordering deserts exist in a delicate ecological balance and limited okay they are not be complex not be predictable not be valuable i think it is will be fragile to what i have stated earlier so now check this answer yeah yes it's a yeah. fragile delicate means fragile we are not going to um, spend much of much more most um, much time to answering the vocabulary questions or uh, rapidly we are going to the next questions according to the paragraph five in dry periods border areas have difficulty and uh, again this is an uh, factual information questions and the key phrases or words are here in dry periods border areas have difficulty we uh, by reading these uh, questions so we can find out um, that um, we can predict that this will be border areas there may be have a difficulty like 25 in dry periods border areas have difficulty okay so there is a little doubt how about the desertifications in the most areas result primarily from human activities rather than natural processes semi-arid lands bordering the deserts exist a delicate ecological balance limited in their potential adjustments of the pressures okay Mm. bordering area in dry periods border areas have difficulties okay we for these sentences we have found some things about border areas okay border our key phrases delicate ecological means limited increase environmental pressures expanding populations are subjecting to the land to increasing pressures to provide them with food and fuel okay wet periods the land may be able to respond to these stresses during the during the dry periods that are common phenomena along with the desert margins the bordering area desert margins though the pressures on the land is often far in excess of its diminished capacity and desertification results okay what will be these questions answer okay from this paragraph we have already found the yeah, questions about the delicate and uh, this delicate this word vocabulary questions Again, in these passages, we have found another question, so this one, factual information questions. So, if we read this, so we should spend more time for first time reading the paragraph. That will help us 
to answer the questions accurately or predict the next question answer so what is be the answer adjusting to stresses created by settlement try peers have difficulty have difficulty is in the last sentences okay if we uh, you can think about the paragraph organization so development structure there is a little doubt however we do we have miss the desertification is most serious result primarily from human activities rather than natural processes these are the key words so key phrases or main topic of these paragraphs okay desertifications came from human activities and natural processes and this paragraph next page next sentence we can predict that the next sentence will be an illustrating sentence of these three topic sentences desertifications and human activities and natural activities okay the same here it lands okay bordering the deserts exist in a delicate ecological balance are limited in their potential to adjust to adjust in increased environmental processes this sentence also elaborating the topic sentences and the further elaborating the topic sentences and natural processes and in which areas bordering areas are more prone or more fragile okay in the environmental pressure expanding populations are subject the land to increase pressures to provide them with food and fuel okay so but still these uh, sentences so also elaborating or uh, in the giving supporting details of these topic lines but we are not going to conclusions in wet period land may be able to respond to these stresses okay in wet periods these uh, there are some stress um, uh, available or stress are subject to the bordering area or desertifications in the natural process one and the environmental process one there is environmental pressures and there is the human pressures providing them the two sentences explains human activities and natural activities okay in what periods so these activities are diminished by the stresses may be uh, repleted okay but but during the dry periods there are common phenomena along with the desert margins the pressure on the land is often far in excess of its diminished capacities and the modifications results so in dry period in border areas have difficulty to restoration the process of their losses by human pressures over natural processes okay it is the answer of this question so now look at this answer choices options border difficulty to adjusting stresses created by settlement these are walls may be on retaining their fertility after desertification so this not may be stated here okay here is a diminished in this uh, in the last sentence explains what is going on okay and this is come from the supporting illustrations of the above two sentences okay so really retaining their fertility after desertifications okay this is is there any mention explicitly in the fertility 
fertility of their land? No. Providing water for irrigating crops is it is mentioned explicitly. There may be implications of other things, but here is it not. Yes, this it is an um, factual information question. So it not will be providing water for irrigation. Not maybe attracting population in search of food and fuel. Okay, that food and fuel it is uh, mentioned here, but this is not answer of have border difficulty. Okay, so we may also check this where we can find this uh, expanding populations are subject to land increasing pressures on provide them with food and fuel. Okay, food and fuel. But border have difficulty in dry periods. Here is an another uh, keywords in dry periods. Is the in this sentence is any mentions of dry periods? No. So our answer should be one. So let's check if we are correct or not. Question number four. So yes. We are also mentions that. Okay, now go to the next questions. Okay, you think that we have already twenty two questions above from this paragraph, and uh, this passage is four, five. Already ten paragraph long, it's in a ten paragraph. So there may be chance of uh, no questions from uh, some of these uh, paragraph, paragraph, or uh, if uh, there is a uh, ten questions in a new TOEFL in our uh, uh, reading sections. So now next, uh, go to the next questions. The word progressively. And the, in the passage is closest meaning to I think that uh, most of our uh, student know this progress means uh, that is uh, advancing so progressively may be advancing or uh, something um, like something so what will be increasingly that may be openly impressively objectively not be so uh, we can also check this answer the cultivation of crops has expanded into progressively drier regions has population densities have grown okay has expanded into progressively into openly aggressively no increasingly objectively into into progressively drier re, drier regions as population densities have grown We also think the um, predict that another questions may be available from this paragraph. Okay, so we can also read this paragraph, uh, whole paragraph, or we can skip this. Okay, that will be next time. So we should answer. We should not. Uh, spend much time for reading this paragraph for first time so if we can for predicting that there may be another questions no we should uh, spend our much time no, not much time to answering the vocabulary questions there are there is our blessings i think this is our blessing so now check this question so there may be increasingly okay no. Question number five is D increasingly. Yes, it is correct. Okay. So now next go to the next question. According to the paragraph, which of the following is often associated with the raising crops? Okay. What is what is our keywords or key phrases associated with raising crops? That means 
what the statements of options will be related to raising crops so for specific activities have been identified as major contributors to the desertification process okay over cultivations over grazing firewood gathering and over irrigation okay these are the major contributions contributors of desertification process and uh, definitely this this sentence is the topic sentence or main idea sentence and uh, the topic is desertification process and the yeast contributor and this contributor is what over cultivation of our grazing firewood gathering and irrigation over irrigations and uh, we can expect or predict that the next two sentences or three sentences will explain our cultivation, our grazing and food gathering and irrigations. So now that the, these are things, uh, see that what we predict the word keyword also appear here. The cultivation of crops has here is also crops raising crops another uh, thing to mind it the raising crops in the questions and in the paragraph there may be synonymous word or related word they are not may you know, always be the actual word or actual um, vocabulary in this cultivation of crops and grazing crops are the synonyms Had expanded into progressively drier regions <coughs> sorry when we read the earlier questions we tell that in this from this paragraph we predict that another questions may appear okay our predictions uh, is hundred percent right okay the cultivation and this is another question from this paragraph six and we have already answered the question progressively dry operations the cultivation crop has expanded into progressively dry regions as population densities have grown okay these regions are especially likely to have periods of several dryness so that crop failures are common okay what is this this is a process i think cultivation is cultivation is modest in the regions population densities have grown okay these also create what these regions are have a several dryness and the crop players are common since the raising yes since the raising of most crops desiccates the prior removal of natural vegetations crop failures leave extensive tracts of land devoid of plant cover and susceptible wind the winter water erosions so this sentence will be the from this sentence we may find the answer of these questions lack of proper often associated with raising crops following associated with raising crops lack of proper irrigation techniques this is not mentioned here also okay these uh, uh, we in the topic sentence we have found the over cultivations over grazing and fire gathering and over irrigations over irrigations not about the techniques irrigation techniques this may found on the other questions also other paragraph may be here or here but the here in this paragraph it is not mentioned so expli explicitly okay so and these two questions are uh, these two sentences are 
cultivations and uh, uh, illustrations, supporting illustrations. And this sentence, our concluding sentence, we can also. And uh, these are the these sentences are the consequences of these first questions or uh, some uh, repetitions of these first questions. So, so it is important that to find out the organizations of the paragraph or development of the paragraph or uh, what is called uh, coherency. Okay, we have discussed earlier in our uh, lessons about uh, that uh, speaking or writing sessions. So you can uh, see our writing sessions videos also that will help us. Okay. So what is this? Uh, there may be in the, in our lack of proper irrigation techniques. This may be failure to plant crops suited to the particular area. This may not be also. Removal of original base stations. This may be the correct answer. What is stated here? Since the rising of the most crops, necessary prior removal of the natural natural vegetations so natural vegetation means original vegetation from all of okay excessive use of dried animal waste is there any mention of this type of uh, phrases no so what will be our answer our answers uh, hmm? no, will be the c let's check it Okay, now go to our next questions. Seven, the avoid of we are also you know the avoid of lack of these are same in synonyms or or, or uh, positive or they are maybe lacking in yes except for hidden by consisting of so we, why we will read the the passages we have found that the paragraph uh, in the same. Without reading this paragraph, we can uh, mm, mm, for answering to the vocabulary questions, we can answer mm, uh, without reading the paragraph where it is mentioned. But we also read this paragraph or this only uh, especially for these lines because of there may be another questions we may found from this paragraph we have already uh, uh, proved it okay so what will be the since the rising of the natural crop it's uh, okay find that this is also came from the paragraph 6 is it not 1 2 3 four five six okay we have also answers so since the raising of the since the raising of most crops necessitates of the prior removal of the natural vegetation crop failures have extensive tracts of land they were the plant cover they were the plant cover means uh, deteriorations or with, without a plan cover and susceptible to wind and water deteriorations. So, a lack will be with the answer. So, so, now check the question 7. Check the answer for 7 is D. Yes, it's correct. Okay. Now go to the next answer choice. According to paragraph 9, um, the ground absorption of excess water is a factor of desertification because it can. Okay. We have answered the question uh, 3 from the paragraph 6. Now we are in paragraph 9. 7 and 8, there is no answer questions. Okay. So we do not know what is stated we have no idea about what is stated in this paragraph six and seven yeah, sorry seven and eight okay but we can predict 
and we can um, we can uh, get the idea what will be but how who mm, by reading this sentence of our cultivations in this paragraph it is stages of our cultivations of our grazing is not covered and the uh, firewood and over irrigation so there may be come in these passages okay prestations usually followed by serrations there is over grazing and pressure sustained motion for firewood firewood is in this passage okay so we did not read this passages okay the final major human cause of desertification so what is our uh, questions uh, keywords ground absorption of excess water is a factor in desertification okay we have already known that the loss of water absorption is the factor of desertification here also mention that ground absorption of excess water but also absorption of excess water is the factor of desertification and for which cause for which and for how so we will read the final major human cause of desertification also soil sanitization and resulting from over irrigations okay here is over irrigations over irrigation is in the paragraph of 9 now about irrigation these are the topic sentence so we can expect that next two sentence or one sentence um, will be the specific illustrations of uh, the of our irrigations of our irrigation but here is an also soil salinization it's an important point to remember excess water from irrigation sinks down into the water table okay excess water irrigation okay <laughs> if no drainage system exists the water table rises and bringing dissolved salts into the surface okay what will be the consequences how this is a salinization in the in this first sentence or original statement we have found a topic sentence we can also say this is a topic sentence and the topic sentence what is the main point main point is soil salinization and by stay and soil salinization is explained by the two sentences how it is occurred bringing dissolved salt to the surface what is water table rises and bringing salts to the and the excess water from irrigation sinks down the uh, into the water table okay so the water evaporates and salts are left behind creating a white crystal layer that prevents air and water from reaching under lines so what is here excess water what will be causing the salinization of the soil soil okay do you understand i think so there interface with water irrigation of land this is not limit the evaporation of water it is also opposite of the this uh, what will be the water evaporates and salts are left behind creating evaporates and creating white crystal prevents air and water prevents air and water from reaching underlying soil okay the water evaporates and soils then perhaps so limit the evaporation of water no no water is uh, just to evaporate require more absorption of water by the soil bring salts to the surface yes it is the it is stages in the all of these words crystal layer and the 
द लास्ट सेंटेंस द वाटर एवेपोरेट्स एंड द सोयल्स आर लेफ्ट बिहाइंड क्रिएटिंग ए वाइट क्रिस्टल लेयर दैट प्रिवेंट्स वाटर एयर रीचिंग अंडरलाइन सोयल्स एयर एंड वाटर इज आल्सो अबर व्हाट इज सोयल सोयल सोल्स वी हैव सर ओके द वाटर टेबल ट्राइजेस bring the diesel soil to the surface bring the soil to the surface so what is this i think uh, this is the answer choice is uh, d let's check eight d okay and uh, you all of also i think that uh, you can catch up uh, these uh, questions answered now go to the next questions all of the is a negative uh, by seeing this except we all um, uh, identify that it is a negative factual information questions and there will be a passage contributing desertifications so all of the following are mentioned in the passage as contributing desertifications of the exam okay it's a um, it's a somewhat difficult question all it is he, for this question here it is not mentioned in any specific paragraph but it is um, mentioned from uh, as a whole from the passages but though we have not read the whole of the paragraph of this passage or all the passage as a whole we can also answer these questions by reading these questions what we have find that also desertification soil erosion yes after our reading we can find this global warming we do not read about these options but maybe insufficient irrigation no no insufficient irrigation uh, is not may over irrigation is the contributing factor of the irrigation rising of livestock yes is so what will be the answer so here there are uh, not mentions we if we do not find any sentence or we do not read about any sentence about um, uh, about the global warming we can also answer these questions so our question answer will be 6 uh, c let's check our answer 9 yes it's c now let go to the next question highly descendants uh, it's a very uh, difficult question for me most of the time i cannot answer so now let's check if i can answer this question uh, now or not for highlighting questions will be what this this come from the paragraph last paragraph we is in the paragraph 11 so what will be the extreme seriousness of desertification result from the vast areas of land and tremendous number of people affected as well as from the great <laughs> sorry difficulty of reversing or even slowing the process what think about just think a few seconds for answering this question what is this many people are affected by desertification is it and the is the process of desertification will be lethal restorations will be restored by lethal not enough is this is stated in this questions and the sentence sentence questions the tips of answering these questions who should leave out the unnecessary information so from the sentence and also na paraphrase the sentence or rework the sentence i think 
by rewording the sentence is the it is not a sentence simplification it is the rewording of the or paraphrasing the uh, sentence okay so if we want to uh, paraphrase uh, this sentence in uh, with our uh, opinion or in our message that it means that the there are huge people are affected and desertification are huge and it should not and it cannot be restored uh, or reversed uh, fully okay this means okay so desertification is significant problem maybe because it is so hard to reserve reverse and affects large area of land and create numbers of people mm, i think this could be this may be okay slowing down the process of desertification is difficult because a population of growth population growth that has spread over large areas of land just something population growth is it tremendous number of people affected no 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 this is visual as of vast areas in the land tremendous number of people affected from as well as great difficulty of reversing slowly okay no it is is not the spread of desert is considered a very serious problem there may be that can be solved only if a large number of people in various countries are involved in the effort is also be okay so tremendous numbers of people affected as as well as from the great difficulty of reversing or even slowing the process no it is not be there's a solution is not the hard to reverse unless the population is reduced and vast areas affected so in my point of view i think that the first one is uh, choice one is the best choice so check our answer choice i am very weak about uh, firstly i am uh, answering the sentence simplification question so 10 yeah see is it 10 yes yeah okay Uh, i can uh, successfully answer this question okay now next so the questions it can be inferred it is an inference question from the passage that a author most likely believes that which of the following of the future about the future of desertification it's a very hard to answer this questions okay future of desertification so we can but if we do not read the whole passage as a whole and whole of all of the paragraph but we can predict we can get the overall idea of the passages and uh, we have find we, we can find the answer of these questions from the last passages and the last questions we have already answered the extreme seriousness of desert division result from vast areas so once the soil have been removed by erosion so only the passage of centuries or millennia will enable new soil form in areas where considerable soil still remains though pre um, rigorously enforced program land of protection to cover crop planning may make possible to reverse present distortion cycles it's a may be possible but it's a already and uh, unreversible thing okay so what will be uh, government will act quickly to control the further desertification may be the factors in desertification occur in a cycle and will change in the future desertification will continue to increase desertification will soon occur in all areas of the world we can in my point of view i think that answer c is correct because of his year 
Tigo Rastli and first program on land production cover crop planning make is possible without the deviations of the surface. It takes iterations millennia. So so many 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 years. So the ratifications will uh, continue increase. Albinal now again is a hard question for me i cannot um, many of the time i cannot answer these questions but just a now click here is from which sentence paragraph it is come from one two three four five six seven yes it is an another passage we have not read already okay so this economic reliance on livestock in certain regions makes large tracts of land susceptible to overgrazing okay what is stated here this economic this pronoun and this economic reliance on livestock okay this pronoun is a very important factor for answering this question keyword and economic reliance on livestock these uh, uh, phrases are also important so the rising of livestock is a major economic activity in semi-arid regions lands where grasses are generally dominant type of natural vegetations susceptible of a bargain cage economic relations these are this is our first topic sentences economic the raising of livestock economic activities semi arid lands where grasses are gradually dominant type of natural vegetation so for we can predict or we can expect that the next sentence will be the specific illustrations or supporting illustrations of these economic activities or grasses or dominates these one is activity major economic activity another is dominant type of natural vegetations okay vegetations so the this economy and livestock and regions make large stock susceptible to grazing lands this will be and the consequence of excessive number of livestock grazing in an area the reduction of vegetation cover and the trembling pulverizing the soil okay so in this question in this sentence there is no any economic phrase and grazing so though, though, though there is a um, grazing also but this grazing is the sequence of this uh, land susceptible to grazing these uh, keywords or grazing needs further more details or further more explanations which is explained by these sentences okay so this is usually followed by the drying soil and axillary degradation so no also this this is the definitive of these questions and the last sentence this is also our uh, concluding sentences not it is in supporting sentences non supporting illustration is needed so our uh, first question and I think that question 2 will be the correct answer now let's check the answer question second card okay next is our what will be next is our pro summary questions the last questions and here will be yes it's in pro summary questions and uh, we do not read the passage firstly or first sentence of each paragraph or say last sentence of each paragraph where some textbooks or some experts suggest this 
we do not go beyond this we do not read through this but we have read the passage carefully all the passage carefully and the important topics or important points of this details of these passages okay the, in the for answering post summary questions so what should we do we should do the major details or big questions big idea of this um, paragraph or passages not trivial details or not supporting details we have already uh, identified or differentiated that what is supporting details what is the main topic or general thesis of the paragraph each of, of each paragraph or the concluding sentences and here will be the answer will be this the main topic sentences each paragraph not the supporting details or important points of this growing human populations and agriculture demands that come with such growth have upset the ecological balance in some areas led to spread the deserts this may be going a period of severe dryness have become more common failures on number of different crops and have increased many factors contributing the great increase what is the question many factors have contributed to the great increase in desertifications is i think this is a um, i know details questions this is a not a big idea questions so excessive number of cattle and the need to fire ward for fuel have needed have reduced grass trees leaving then unproductive these are also in grasses are generally dominant type of natural vegetations in the semi areas no this is not okay animal dung and riches this is we can eliminate excessive irrigations with poor drainage brings a salt to the surface of the soil and forces that reduce water and air pollution <coughs> a period of severe dryness have become more common failures of number of different crops have increased i think uh, these are the characteristics and also and may are behave but it uh, will get his in the okay now let's show this growing human populations excessive uh, yes excessive number of extensive so we are i am in the wrong positions there as a period there is not common a failure of number extensive irrigation some poor weeding and sulfur soil and these is this question so if you do practice the look at this our uh, diagnostic test we have discussed to these sessions we have already answered all of these questions correctly but last question says the somewhat i did distracted but if you feel uh, most of i think that most of uh, students or who test takers can easily answer these questions after reading these questions so what is what was our uh, um, uh, tip only one tip the only one tip was read the question first and never read the passages okay is it effective yes all of you will be agreed with me that our tip is very much effective and it's time saving okay practice now you will find that effectiveness of this tip and strategy okay thank you for watching our uh, video and uh, if you find that uh, that is very really, this video is helpful um, keep with us visit our uh, website beenglish.org and our uh, blackboard youtube channel that uh, 
that will help us uh, to make our more videos and uh, these uh, mm, uh, this will uh, um, share our uh, content and uh, already will be practice in so these are the um, you obtain the answer keys okay you can pause your videos after answering these questions so good luck everybody for uh, in uh, your taking the TOEFL thank you so much for watching our video